Hello everyone, myself Dr. Amit Maheshwari and this is the continuation of video series on biochemistry clinical case study. Today we are going to discuss methanol poisoning, why ethanol is used in the treatment of methanol poisoning and metabolism of methanol and ethanol in the form of one case. So let's start. So the case description is a 29 year old male comes to emergency unit with difficulty in vision and gasping respiration. His friends give the history of alcohol intake from local chalk. Investigation revealed high anion gap metabolic acidosis. And the investigation done were there was bicarbonate level that is 4.3 millimol per liter which was reduced. pH is also reduced that is 6.89. Serum osmolality was 379 milliosmol per kg. Sodium level was 146 millimol per liter. Potassium level was elevated that is 7.7 .7 millimol per liter. Urea was normal that is 32 milligram per deciliter. Glucose was also normal that is 108 milligram per deciliter. Chloride was 116 millimol per liter. And the lactate was also elevated that is 14.2 millimole per liter. And in this case, patient was given IV ethanol for the treatment in addition to dialysis and other supportive care. Now let's see the questions. So the first question is, what is the rationale behind giving ethanol in methanol poisoning? So methanol is a toxic alcohol and this methanol is metabolized via alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme and it gets converted to the formaldehyde. And this formaldehyde is a toxic gas which can damage the retinal cells and it can result in a blindness as well as in the respiration difficulties. As given in the description, this particular patient was, was having dimmed vision as well as difficulty in breathing. And this formaldehyde gets converted to the formic acid via aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme. Now, ethanol is a structurally similar to the methanol. And this ethanol acts as a competitive inhibitor of methanol. That means in the presence of ethanol, alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme preferentially binds to the ethanol. And instead of methanol getting converted to the formaldehyde, this ethanol gets converted to the acetaldehyde via alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme and this acetaldehyde is a not toxic as compared to the formaldehyde and this acetaldehyde via aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme gets converted to the acetic acid and this acetic acid is excreted in the urine. So that is the reason why ethanol is used as an antidote in methanol poisoning. So that is the answer of the question why ethanol is used in the treatment of methanol poisoning because this ethanol acts as a competitive inhibitor of alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme and this ethanol gets converted to the acetaldehyde which is not toxic as compared to the formaldehyde. Now second and the last question. Explain the occurrence of lactic acidosis in methanol poisoning. So when methanol metabolism occurs, methanol gets converted to the formaldehyde via alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme. Then this alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme requires NAD as a coenzyme and this NAD gets converted to the NADH. Now this formaldehyde again gets converted to the formic acid via aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme and this aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme also requires NAD as a coenzyme and this NAD gets converted to the NADH. So in the metabolism of methanol in the cell there is a high NADH. So this high NADH favors the conversion of pyruvate to the lactate which results in the accumulation of lactic acid it results in the lactic acidosis. So that is the answer of the question why there is occurrence of lactic acidosis in the methanol poisoning. So that is all about methanol poisoning, why ethanol is used in the treatment of methanol poisoning and metabolism of ethanol as well as methanol. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.